It is finally the start of school. This summer went by way too fast, but at the same time, I love when school starts because I feel like our family can be more in a routine and that's always good. They kind of were going crazy the last couple weeks of summer. So I'm very excited to have them back in school. And now that I can be a little more consistent in making videos, I just got so busy with pretty much doing nothing because let's be real, I didn't really travel a whole lot, but I don't know, I feel like when my kids are home, I like have so much to do, which my house hasn't been clean. I needed to spend some time doing that now that they're in school. Anyways, I heard the big news that there is a new Sephora sale, so I thought it would be fun to go over what I plan on picking up. And also, I would love to know what you plan on picking up if you would comment below because I always like to know what else I need to get. I mean, come on. So I'm just gonna go through what's already in my car and a couple things that I am like on the fence about. And just because I mention it doesn't mean that I'm going to be getting it. I am trying to stay within a little bit of a budget. So I did do a few shopping hauls this past month, which I'll be sharing probably in the next video, but I wanted to, so I don't really need to get a whole lot. There are a couple of things that I want to stock up on, but mostly a few things I, want, I just want to try. So I am Rouge, so I do get 20% off, which is great. I don't know if I'm going to hit Rouge next year, being that I'm trying to be a little more budget conscious and also doing the whole declutter, trying to go through what I have, realizing how much I have. I mean, it doesn't stop me from wanting to try new products, but this is kind of where I'm at, so I, it's not gonna be anything ridiculous. But let's just get started. I have my computer in front of me if I'm looking down. I'm gonna try and post a picture here to cover my TV and the items that I am interested in. I'll talk about them and what I think and why or what, and let's just get started. So the first thing that I have on my list is the Clinique Super Powder Double Face Makeup. This I am buying as a repurchase. I do still have two in my collection or my current makeup in two different colors, but one of them is hit major pan on, one of them is very close, and this is one of my favorite powders that I know always works with whatever. I can use it, you know, after a long day of wearing makeup to kind of touch up, and I know it doesn't ever look cakey on me. It's just like my go-to powder. Last time I ordered this, which was in like March, it came in a different packaging. So on Sephora's website, it looks like it's the old packaging. So I'm hoping it is, because then I'll know for sure I got the right one. But I don't know, so I'm, I'm, I'll be curious when I order it to see what color, or to see what, I guess what color the package is gonna be. But I get mine in my, the matte ivory shade. It definitely just matches me the best. And I love this powder, seriously. It is like really good. I mean, I've been buying it for probably 15 plus years, so it's great. All right, the next thing on my list, and that goes for $28.50, by the way. The next thing on my list is the Tatasha Nonona Coral Eyeshadow Palette. This is still kind of a maybe. Um, I did do a declutter of my eyeshadow palettes probably four or five months ago, and I got rid of, I'm serious, I got rid of probably at least 60% or more. And so when I was going through my palettes for this current declutter I'm doing, I was kind of like, where are all my palettes? Like, and I didn't realize I got rid of so many. I made a very big rash decision and just like threw things in the box. I was like, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, and sent it to my sister. And I wasn't really thinking. And I sent some really high-end good stuff that I'm now picking myself. I mean, I'm glad they're going to, they went to a home that's gonna get some good use out of it. But at the same time, I, I got rid of way too much. So I feel like I don't have enough, which I know I still do, but that's kind of why I'm on the fence. I just did a declutter of eyeshadow palette, so I kind of know where I'm standing and what colors I have. And so I'm not sure if this is going to be something I will for sure pick up. It is $48. I do have one of her five pan palettes that I bought when she, before she was even big, before she was in Sephora. And it's okay. I feel bad saying that, but it's like not my absolute favorite palette. And it, I can't even remember which one I got. I'll, have, I'll show it, it'll be in my declutter video. But, so I'm not, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I wanna get it. I do like the colors in it. 
I do like four of them. The middle color really isn't, I don't know what I would do with that color, but it is pretty, so we'll see. 48 bucks, it is a lot of money. It ends up being about a little over nine bucks a shadow, which actually, when you break it down that way, I mean, it, yes, it's a little bit higher end. How much is Makeup Geek? $5 a shadow, six? I mean, it's not too bad when you break it down per shadow, but, and they are pretty generous sized pans. So I don't know if it's that, much of a of a bad deal but it definitely is on the higher end so we'll see the next thing in my in my palette in my cart currently is the glam glow bright eyes illuminating illuminating anti-fatigue eye cream and it goes for 39 dollars. this i believe is pretty new i love eye cream i'm very interested in this i do between okay I do want to order the hydrating mask from Glam Glow. I don't have it in my cart, in my cart, or in my wish list. But it is something that I ran out of probably a little over a year, year and a half ago, and I really do miss it. It's I love the smell of it. I don't even know what the smell is, but it just smells so clean, and I'm, I really miss just smelling it. <laughs> but I want to get that, so I might get that. Also, even though I won't mention it in this video, though I just did, but it remi it reminded me about that when I saw this bright eye anti fatigue eye cream. I just, I really want to try it. I love Glam Glow. There's nothing really much to be said about that, but I do want to try it. All right, the next thing is the and this is also and I'm not sure still is the Kaja Machi Glow Bouncy Highlighter in the color Toy Alien. I'm not sure if this is a sample I got from Sephora. I got a sample of this highlighter in my Sephora Playbox in June, and I love it. I think it's beautiful. It does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it is very, very pretty. I'm not sure the same color I have to check. I, I probably should have checked before I added it to my cart to know for sure, but I'm still on the fence. It's $19. If it's the same color that I already have, I won't buy it. Even though I still am not sure I'm going to buy it anyways, it's kind of one, it's kind of like the Natasha Denona. It's kind of in there like I'm really interested, but I'm not sure. So that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, the next item, and I think I have three of this brand. Let me see. All right, so I'm missing some stuff in here, but we'll just see when I get to it. Okay, I know I had, I had three of the fresh, lip treatments in my cart. I have a bunch of samples. Let me know if you've tried a full size. I feel like the samples are very soft. If I if I put them up, definitely too much, but even just a little bit, I can feel it moving around in the tube. So I have always been hesitant to buy a full size because I if it's that soft and it breaks that easy, you know, it's kind of a lot of money for a chapstick that I don't know, let me know if you've used it and if they're a little bit harder, or maybe mine are just kind of melted, I don't know. But I do like the feeling of them on my lips, so I wanted to try three of them. I only see one in my cart right now, so I will let you know the other two in a second. But the one that I see in my cart is a Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment in the color Dream. Um, this is the Advanced Therapy, the other two I believe are not the Advanced, I don't know too much about Fresh, so forgive me if I get this wrong. But it's in a white tube. But it, I like what I like about these is it does have sort of a tint to them, which I really appreciate. I do have, I have a few of them, but the one I currently have in my makeup bag is the Berry. That's the one that I have to be very careful putting it on my lips because it will look not only patchy, but it can smear and get everywhere. So I don't want to get a dark color again, but I definitely like how that one has a lot of color in it, which is why I wanted to try a few of these. I know the other one is that rosé one. All right, the next thing I have in my Sephora cart is the Buxom Power Plump Lip Balm. Oh, by the way, the Fresh was 26 bucks. So I have the Buxom Power Plump Lip Balm in glowing. I have talked about these a few times on my channel. I thought I had them all and I realized I don't have the nude type color. I have the flushed, fiery, and big O. I believe there's only four colors and I love the fiery ones. Fiery one is very hard for me to wear because it is kind of an orangey color and an orangey red and it has pretty good payoff on it but they are so easy to wear. They last Quite a while, quite a while, 
um, if you don't eat or drink. I mean, so if you were to put it on and go to like a meeting or something, because I go to meetings, but you would, I mean, it would be there, but it's very easy to, the flushed and the big O are my two top favorites. I can put those on without a mirror and I'm, I feel good. The fiery one, I cannot. That one, I would, I would, I need a mirror. But that's what I like about the other two is that they're just so easy to wear. I keep them in my purse and in my car and I use them all the time. I think the nude, which is called glowing, is going to be also easy to wear if I am guessing, but I really want it. So I have that in my car. Like I said, those are 18 if I, if I didn't say. So that is the next thing. The, I do have one perfume. It's by the Seven Virtues brand. I don't know too much about this. I want to try it. I'm, I have so much perfume. So this also might be something that I might not get because I have too much, but I really want to try it because I love anything that has Jasmine in it. And they have one, it's called Jasmine Neroli Ude Parfum, Perfume Rollerball. I do not speak any French. <laughs> so I probably butchered that, but those are 29 bucks for a rollerball. I read the description about it. It sounded nice. Jasmine is a very sensual smell, and that's also how they described it. So I'm really interested. I don't know if I will pull the trigger on it, but I'm very, very interested. So that's on there. The next thing I have on is the Sephora Collection Cleansing Balm and Oil. It is actually on in their clearance for $8. I bet it's normally, I don't know if it says 16 or 18. I can't tell. But I just ran out of my Clinique Take the Balm Away, so I might replenish that, or I might try this one since it's on sale. The Clinique one's like 24 or something like that. So it's quite a bit more expensive. It does work really well, although it doesn't work with well with the Thrive Mascara, and that's kind of why I'm annoyed, but that mascara is weird, which I know I've mentioned too many times on here, so I won't go into that. All right, that is everything I have in my cart right now, which is at $215.50. Of course, like I said, it is missing two of the fresh um, that I thought I had in there. So I'm going to go to those. So the one that I thought should be in there is the sugar lip treatment. So the other one was sugar advanced lip treatment, I believe. SPF 15 in the, in the color Sugar Poppy, which is supposed to be a deep pink red tint, which I think sounds really nice. And then I also want to get the Sugar Rosé tint, which is supposed to be a sheer rosy tint. So those three um, lip products I definitely want to try. So those will be added, which I think brings my total to $263.50. So, that's where I'm at right now. A few other things that I really want to get that um, are in my loves, not in my cart yet. I haven't really organized too much yet, but I thought I would mention a few things. I want to get the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. The reason it's not in my cart is it is currently out of stock, so I'm hoping that comes back in stock. I, I keep saying I believe. I hope. I'm pretty sure that will be something I will for sure get if it is back in stock in time. I also am interested in the Bare Minerals, and that is 33. I'm also interested in the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Eyeshadow Palette. I did pick up one of the blushes that are in that Bounce and Blur collection, and which you'll see in my haul video that's coming up either before or after this one. And that's $29. I believe they have two different colors. I want the Dawn one, if, if I'm not mistaken. But it looks really nice. Again, I don't need eyeshadow palettes, but this one looks like something that I could actually use every day, so we'll see. Um, I have the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronze Cream in Fair to Light, which is $30. I'm not sure I'll get that. Again, you'll see my haul coming up, and you'll see probably why. But that is in my loves that I might consider. I am definitely going to get, and this is a definite, either the Diva Girl Wave Maker Touchable Texture Cream texture whip which is $26 because I have I've said I've now have more wavy hair than curly hair this is not clean hair just so you know um but I do love the I is it IKG IKG IGK rich kid coconut oil gel which I'm almost out of that's $29 so it's a couple bucks more 
but it is really good. So either I haven't decided if I'm gonna get that just again, because I know I love it, or try the Diva Girl one, so we'll see where I go. Um, I also have the Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. It's 36 bucks in the Bellini Costa Ray, Ray, Ray something. And it looks nice, I'm not sure, on the, on the fence. Um, what else is on here? I, I might get either the Dry Bar Southern Belle Volume Boosting Mousse, which is $26. I love that. If I have a bad, uh, you know, on my dirty hair day and I spray through dry conditioner and I need some like lift, I can literally just lift up the bottom of my hair, put some in there and it gives me so much volume. I am not even kidding. So good. I still have a little bit of a trial, so that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna buy that yet. I definitely will in the future, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy it yet. But I also might get their dry conditioner. I love, love dry conditioner. I wish um, Pureology still sell, sold it. If they do, let me know. I can't find it anywhere. Theirs was the best. I know Dry Bar has one. I know, I believe Living Proof might have one. I know Amika has one, which is great too. I like that one. So I might get one of those. Um, the Glam Glow Super Toner Exfoliating Acid Solution Toner, I do want, but it's like 42 bucks and I do have a lot of toners or a few toners in my collection right now that I want to use through. So that's why I don't really, I haven't pulled the trigger as far as putting it in my cart yet, but that is something that I'm interested in. The Super Goop Forever Young Hand Cream with Sea Buck Thorn Broadband Spectrum SPF 40 in the mini is 12 bucks. I got that within the last Sephora spring sale. I love it. I keep it in my car. It is does not feel sunscreeny like you put it on and it just feels moisturizing, but at least I know it's protecting my poor hands when I'm driving. But I love it. I might get the full size of that. How much is the phone? I wish that it says mini. So I don't know if they don't have the full size. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to go look around, but I would get that. I already mentioned the Clinique Take the Balm Off. The last thing that I might pick up, which is probably I will, is another, I get the mini size of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. It's 20 bucks. Those last me at least, if I were to use it every day or every time I did my makeup, and if I did my makeup every day, it would last probably three to four months. So I know I can get, and I have like two or three upstairs, not counting what I already have in my bag. So I, I might get one to back for another backup. I might not, but that is something that I typically would purchase. So there's that. I'm sure there will be a few more new products that come out that I might add last minute. I'm trying to see if there's anything right now. I mean, Marc Jacobs has a new highlighter. I don't know. That's where I'll go from now. That's kind of what I'm thinking about getting. Let me know what you are thinking about getting because I might need to get it too. And Or let me know if you know if anything I'm thinking about isn't good. I would love to know that too because I don't want to waste my money. I mean, who does? So anyways, thank you guys as always for watching my video. Good luck in the Sephora sale and I will talk to you guys another time.